Hey guys, hope your fall is coming along well. I just developed a new spread that I want to try out. So this is going to be my spy spread, is what I call it, but it doesn't have to be necessarily spying. It can be just looking into somebody that you care about, if you're looking into for love purposes, a family member you care about, and you want to know what's going on with them right now, what their energy is all about. And I am shuffling right now. I think this is called the Dark Craftarian Tarot Deck. I got this on um, Amazon if you're looking for it. Um, it's a Rider Waite Pamela Smith, but it's um, like vintaged out and dark. There's like, they're, they're mostly black backgrounds, which works better for me, I think. So that's why I picked it up. It actually was gifted to me. So thank you, Carter, for that one. person in your life that you want to look into, that you want to know more about, what's going on with them, what's going on with the person in your life. Now, because this is such a specific kind of spread, it won't be very generalized, so it may only apply to a few of you watching, or some of it may apply to many of you, but not all of it. So take it as it resonates and leave the rest. En el día, lampadios, le tocas. En el día, lampadios, le tocas. Io heca, io ho. very large cards and they're very glossy and stiff and they're pretty thick card stuff so they're not the easiest to shuffle but the way I do it it should be okay all right I ask my ancestors to be present for this reading my ancestors from the old Czech ways Hopi and Cherokee, the Italian strega of my past. And the Canadian folklore, which is Les Dames Fay, to aid me in this reading. And the first card is the star. Now this is a spread that I just made, so bear with me, okay guys? Second card. I think I'm gonna move these over. number three, card number four, move them up because I'm going to need more room, this is a big spread, card number five, Number six, the sun. I don't even think I'm going to be able to use these cards for this spread now that I think about it. This spread is huge. I'm like, okay, maybe I'll be able to fit it. If not, I may have to overlap, which is fine. Doesn't 
doesn't take anything away from the reading for me. I know what the cards are. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Card number seven is justice. Card number eight. Card number nine. Card number 14. I'm going to put it up higher because it won't fit, but this is a big, big card deck and a big spread, so we're working with what we got. It's supposed to look like a person. That's the whole point of it. Card number 15. Three, uh, excuse me, the two of wands, 18, the three of swords, and then flipping the deck over for the 19th card on the bottom, the fool. All right. Oh, and no, that's card number 20. So the fool would be 20. Again, sorry, it's the first time I'm doing a reading with this uh, spread, actually. I just haven't uploaded in a while. All right. And now we're going to flip it over. All right. So the Ace of Swords in card number 19. The overall theme with your person is that they are taking risks right now. Um, they may be feeling kind of new at something. And it, at this part of their life anyway, they're coming into a new aspect of their life that they're um, not familiar with, but they're maybe a little bit excited about. They may have a new animal that they've just, just gotten. That's just something random coming through mundane, going through the card. Um, they may be trying to take action on their inspirations. Um, they may be potentially leaving a job for a new one, um, something that they've newly got inspired about, um, making changes in that regard. They may have a new zest for life. I'm seeing this as an immaturity not in a negative sense, but like, you know, just feeling like they have a new slate and they're looking at life in a new way. Um, maybe with younger eyes. They seem to be 
very fire sign oriented. So they could be an Aries or a Leo or a Sagittarius. They could be starting out exploring some, some new avenue in regards to their sexuality. Um, they're coming at it with a balanced approach, if that is the case. Um, all right, let's get into them. What's going on with them? So what their understanding of the situation is, they may be understanding that they're going through a time of great healing um, or great... They might be spiritually feeling also... Um, very hopeful and optimistic and kind of they're getting a lot of fast downloads from their universe they're getting what they want as well or they're going for what they want their their mind is really about thinking about what they've achieved so far and what peace that brings them and what hope they have for the future and they're taking action on it um, they're very they could be getting a lot of influx of spiritual messages at this time having to do with um, their direction in life and and um, their dreams as well might be very um, prolific and they're fleeting so they may want to if you know this person and are trying to get a reading for them or if this is about you because this can very well be about you um, you might want to write down um, anything that comes to you in your dreams because it will be fleeting. It won't be, you know, long-lasting. You might be going through a, an awakening of sorts too because I see in the star card representing the crown chakra, there's an opening, there's a giant star like bursting um, like a nebula. So you might be getting a lot of information coming to you. Um, you might have come out of a time or your person... Um, where you, where they or you have been very vulnerable, um, and upfront about how they really feel, and what is going for, um, what they're desiring at this time, because it's like a wish fulfillment card as well. So, um, very connected to the universe as well. Um, how they're expressing themselves they're being very conservative in their approach um, there's a formality here um, they may be keeping things PG that's another thing I get out of this card for the family's sake um, there's they're talking a lot about money about the future with money and building a legacy they may be communicating a lot with their family at this time or about starting a family. Um, it also could be about assets or um, commerce of some kind. So they may, they may do that on a regular basis or that might be their thing or um, their home life and what's going on within their emotion, their love life and emotional settings um they're feeling a little bit dissatisfied or you're feeling a little bit dissatisfied about how things have been going or maybe with what you've been offered or what what's in front of you um there might be an option that's coming in that's like kind of nagging at you a little bit that you're just not seeing or for some reason you're not interested in um Maybe you're more interested in your friends at this time and spending time with the people that you love that are not, um, that are platonic, that are not uh, romantic. Um, there could be a new family member also coming in. So a baby might be born in your family soon and you're not aware of it yet, but it will be coming up in the near future. Um, in terms of developing a home and finding a new home, there might be a uh, an apartment situation or a living situation that may present itself to them or you. 
depending on who this reading is. I'm actually going to just speak from the you perspective and you can apply it however it needs to be. If this is for somebody else in your life or for you, you'll, you'll put it where it needs to be. Um, so there could be an offer coming in about a home, a living situation, um, that creates, um, that's very emotionally securing for you. Also, there could be an, um, a baby coming in within the family or a new family member. Also, somebody could be getting married. Um, yeah, so there also could be a new job coming in as well that you love. Um, or you're not sure that you're going to love it, but it will be something that you love. All right, so then now, the fifth, the fifth card, your confidence. Um, if you're not in a relationship, you're feeling very confident in expressing your attraction for somebody. Um, this may come off in a more kind of silly, kind of playful way because it is the Page of Cups, but you're feeling um, confident in your expression of, expression of your emotions at this time um, and, and going for what you love, um, which is definitely tying into the theme um, with the Fool card. So I'm seeing there being kind of like almost like you surprise yourself in that you're very confident at this time about going for what you desire um, emotionally for yourself or for in other people and could be very fl flirtatious confident in your flirtations at this time your creativity is on point and your emotions are very happy vibrant um this is the best card for that sort of thing you're feeling definitely born anew there's a childlike wonder and playfulness with this card as well so i think that if you are having a child or creating a family this is this line right here is very much saying a lot of you know playful and creation and children and all that sort of thing um you're expressing your create yourself you're going back, you might be going back to something that you did as a kid that you felt very confident doing as a kid and maybe it feels new to you now and you are now creating from that same place and really enjoying yourself um you're feeling much more energetic than you used to um there's healing with the sun card there's life and vibrancy so i feel like this is a really good time energetically for you this is a really good time creatively for you um you are kind of burning bright and your confidence is up and, and it's very like lighthearted and easygoing and flow it flows well so you could even be steamingly passionate about somebody or some something in your life right now um there's a very artistic nature to these two cards um artistic creation you could be getting back to definitely like you know, painting or doing something that you did long ago that, you know, or finding a new hobby that you really, really like and that really speaks to you at a core level. You're coming in with your seventh card as justice. And justice in this position speaks of hormonal balance it speaks of having a healthy balanced seventh chakra um it's the fight or flight chakra um your sense of security and your sexuality so you are very fair and balanced in your approach you might be having relations with a libra at this time you yourself might be a libra um, there is some 
equilibrium that's being restored. So I don't know if like your sex drive or, or sex life has been out of balance. Um, if so, then it's coming back into balance. There'll be a healthy restoration of this chakra. You also, this chakra could just be becoming more balanced within the your chakras and your aura. Um, If there was any kind of issues physically with that area, they're, they're balancing themselves out. There's um, also, let's see, it's instinct survival, sense of security, and the Kundalini. Yeah, I just see a good balance in terms of your, your finding balance in your security. And that's helping you to be able to express yourself and create more freely and childlike. Um, and be more easygoing about things. All right. What you're grasping for, reaching for, your goals, your work employment. I see that you might have had a job end recently. There might have been some betrayal at work. There might have been a goal that just fizzled out, that there was a big ending and it was painful and, and uncomfortable and it was just the end of the road with something for you. So I see that. Um, it just didn't turn out maybe for the better and you are happy that it's over because it was really a pretty horrible experience. Um, it's never good to get the Ten of Swords, um, but the Ten of Swords can be good in terms of the finish line with something that's been bad in our lives. So it does put a damper on things, but I also see like you might have gotten a tattoo on your hand or you may actually be looking to go to school for being a tattoo artist for some reason or being a surgeon. That could be something that, that this card represents. Um, what you're receiving or unaware of or what's out of your control, um, you could be taking or making something. This is this next card. So you're very receptive emotionally at this time. I feel like you have a healing hand, like you, if you were a massage therapist of any kind or do acupuncture, um, I, because I have the Ten of Swords and the King of Cups, which is like the healer and, you know, a bunch of needles here, a bunch of knives. Um, you could be a surgeon, um, someone who works in the medical profession that performs procedures of some kind. Um, you could be hmm. yeah I think that's all I'm getting from that if you are out of control I don't see it lasting for long I see you being very emotionally balanced with how you do things physically um, you may be a swimmer as well um, maybe involved with getting your hands wet with something. So you're, you're working in some kind of liquid of some kind. Um, you might be letting go of a drinking habit as well or putting down alcohol for a while. If you are receiving something, you're receiving good emotional support and you might be receiving um, good care from, from a person who works in the service fields. Um, it could be a good care from a counselor. Um, it could be a good doctor who's helping you with something. It could be specifically your hand, but it could have it to do with anything else in your body. Um, so that's good. Uh, your burdens you're carrying right now 
there might be a lot of judgment on you right at this time. Um, people might be giving their opinions about your life or that there, there's a weight on your shoulders that's coming from externally to you. Um, you're being pressured by something going on in your life. Um, others might be pressuring you. There is a potential to... There also could be a judgment that is placed upon you in in a legal sense. Um, and I only say this because the judgment card and, and having your seventh chakra, your security, um, having the justice card, I do feel like there's some kind of connection there. Um, you're feeling strong in your approach and balance in your approach to things, but there may be some heavy burdens with having to do with a realization of some kind, like finally getting to a point in your life where you're like, I hate my job. Like, I can't keep going on like this anymore. Or my health is falling apart and I need to deal with this. I mean, I'm not seeing those things specifically, but those are examples um, of what this card is bringing forth. There's something in your life that you're being woken up to a realization um, and it's kind of like a rebirth moment for you I do see what's connecting this card to the ten of swords is um, a temptation so this could have been an addiction that you had um, or someone else had this could have been some kind of toxic relationship that's ending you're just realizing that it's, you know, it's time to end things. And, and now that you've done that, it, it's starting to wake you up to just how toxic the relationship was or how bound to your addictions or, or your temptations that you've had. Um, it could be a fear as well. You're just sick of tired of being afraid and you realize that, you know, I've got to let go of this, this fear because it, it's holding me back and you end that, that, that aspect of your life ends with the 10 of pentacles. The burdens you're letting go of, you're letting go of needing the acclamations of others. Um, or you're, you're telling others to stop with their praises of some kind. So you might be, Maybe you've been really good at something or at your life for a long time and people just, you're someone who's, you know, popularized by, for that reason, and you're maybe not feeling as good about it anymore and don't really want to care to be objectified about it anymore. Um, I see that there's some major level up coming in that's connected to this letting go. So this could have to do with the internet. You could just be totally not posting anymore um, online, not caring really what people think because you're getting back to taking care of yourself and maybe the others around you and you just, you're realizing what's important and for your emotional state and and maybe the internet is not a place to try to get that kind of support um you are receiving support though i see that with the king of cups um and it's from a good person so a friend might be helping you out um and maybe you just are letting go of you know needing that approval of others. Um, whatever it is, it's a major cycle completion that you're letting go of connected to this. So you're really moving up spiritually to the next level, um, which is really good. What you're chasing 
you are chasing your creative mastery. You are chasing your power, um, chasing a, a powerful way of expressing yourself, of being a leader of that, a leader that isn't afraid to be themselves, that isn't afraid to express themselves and create from their own vision. You're very driven at this time and that's helping you move forward with your creative projects. Very fiery reading. Alright, what you're running away from you might be running away from spending time with a group of people. Um, you might be running away from literally literally drinking, because this card can refer to partying. So you might be taking a step back from the partying. You may be taking a step back from friend groups. Um, trying to see if I can get anything else. Any kind of collaborations where it might be some, my, sorry, my, my kitten is purring right now and she's so cute. Um, it might very well be that you are having a more balanced approach to who you're having relations with. And so you're, you're taking a step back and like kind of, you know, if you're, if you're somebody who's more free spirited in that regard, um, maybe just taking it back and, and taking it down to just a few people, you might want to just have a close circle of friends at this time. That's, you know, that you can count on your hand that you feel close with, that you can express yourself with, or that'll give you the time and the space to do what you're working on start starting your new ventures with your creative projects or new job or whatever um with the energy that's supporting what you're chasing is your plans so you've mastered something a previous inspiration maybe you've come become the king of your castle We'll say that. And now you're looking out at the world and saying, okay, what else is there? What can I make? What else can I do? Where can I go from here? You you might be making plans to branch off in your business or to move to a different place or find some other kind of avenue of creativity. Um, there's also a compromise. So you're trying to compromise um, between your responsibilities as a king, really, and your inspirations. And the energy that's supporting you going away from your friends or getting away from this Three of Cups energy is you're trying to tame something I do find addiction being a very strong um, presence in this spread. That there is something that you are really trying to focus and, and heal on. You might be healing mentally at this time and addiction and really working to wake yourself up to the fact that you need to focus on making sure that certain people aren't in your life that certain jobs that are that are, might set you up for failure in terms of your recovery. Um, it seems like there's also some sort of taming your inner beast here, and there's a there's the devil, which is a beast, is you know the way he's depicted there. Um, and then we have the 
the strength card, her taming the lion. So there is something with that. There is some kind of kind of taming this inner nature. Using your charm or your your persuasion or your efforts to direct a situation in a certain direction that you need to do or that's going to be best for you at this time. Now, what's keeping you or grounding you at this time is you feel like your foot is nailed about something. Um, you might have hurt your foot. If you had injured your foot in any way, shape, or form, if you broke something, if you fell, if you... It could have been your hand or your foot. I just see, like, the two cards that show penetration of a sword into a body part or a, a body... Are here and there there's the hand and the foot so what's keeping you stuck is some kind of heartbreak so some kind of you could have lost a friend recently and you might be kind of depressed as well and not not necessarily lost to death you know, or the afterlife, but like lost in terms of, you know, maybe you're trying to get away from some kind of habit or some kind of patterning in your life. And a friend is just kind of going along, doing, doing the same old, same old. And you realize that you've outgrown that person. You might be sticking around a little longer in that situation because your heart is broken and you don't want to, you know, th about the thought of leaving that situation. Just be careful also of stepping on anything sharp this time, this month. Because I have two swords cards in the feet. And one of them's not a good, a great card. The other one is. Um, so let's talk about that now. What's destabilizing or causing... Well, see, the, the heartbreak is supposed to be grounding you. So that's what's keeping you firm is that somebody has hurt you. So you might be feeling more stable because one of these, for, uh, and, and letting go of this friendship or this relationship, this friend group, because they hurt you in some way. There was, it's not a passivity necessarily, but you're, you got into an argument with a friend and maybe that's what's causing you to stick around and try to work on the situation a little more as well. That's something else that's coming through. Okay, what is destabilizing or causing imbalance in your life? Some kind of truth. It could have been a hurtful truth because it's opposite the three swords. Um, maybe that's what's the, 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 the basis of your wanting to start over and try something new and planning for the future maybe you're realizing like maybe these people aren't really my friends maybe this situation isn't that good for me and it's been a painful kind of truth and you've been trying to kind of tame yourself from being out of control in this situation or getting aggressive in this situation um but i see you making plans and having something victorious come of whatever so yeah so underneath what's destabilizing you this is the card that was on top the tower and it has to do with work so if this is a work group of friends that just has turned out not so great and you're it's becoming a toxic work environment i see you although it's going to be totally uprooting yourself I see you getting through it. It's victorious in that regard. 
you might have to ask for some assistance while you're out of work um, from a friend, family member. Um, make sure you're communicating about what's going on with you financially because that I don't think that's going to be a problem for you. <coughs> I mean, excuse me, I don't think you have to tell everybody your personal business, if you, you know, but if the people that you trust in your life, maybe this will be somebody who's um, a good friend that comes in um, that you can talk to. I'm trying to think of like what you do for work. I see a lot of swords and, and I see a lot of, yeah, there's somebody who's, who's a doctor here who does surgery of some kind or procedures, but tattoos could be tattoos. Some of you are the leader of your friend group, but then you've made some changes and, and people aren't following along. Yeah. So, yep, yeah, you're starting new things and you got some fire you're starting a fire I always see the page of wands as like somebody sticking and whittling a wand into a ground to start a fire there's a spark there um, you might not know exactly when or how it's going to get there but you have you have faith that the, the fool card and the star card are cards of faith um, hope restoration um, being free spirited and whatever you need to do to tame whatever's going on or, or settle. It's like once you get the fire started, you might have to do some, you know, damage control, but I think that you're going to land on your feet. I think it might hurt a little, but the thing about the cards at your feet, there's the three of swords. That's the side that's like what's helping you. So this pain is helping you in some way, some kind of grief or loss, um, get you motivated. And what's kind of destabilizing you is, is the, is a truth that things aren't stable. So I think that's a really good position for it with your work. So there may be some kind of rest or, or meditation that's needed because the three and the, the three of swords and the um, ace of swords add up to the four of swords. So I always see that as like a, a sign that like that you need you might need to take some time to actually go within and really rest and recuperate and meditate. If you're having any kind of procedures done on your hands or you do work as a surgeon or you that's what your goal is. I see that being a very prevalent thing or any, any kind of procedures that somebody does with their hands on other people. This is like um, body work of some kind. Um, you might be talking a little bougie this month. You might be a little bit uh, expressive of your finances and, you know, maybe talking big. I see that. Talking about money a lot. Um, if there are any addictions, there's a wake up call to getting, getting yourself straight with that. Hmm. You're really radiating this month. I mean, you're, you're feeling a little bit timid in, in your self-confidence with how you emotionally express yourself, but you're, you're doing it in a way that's kind of cute and like childlike. Um, you might feel like the, su the support you receive from others at this time is not equivalent to what you can give. That's another thing you might want to work on. But you're creatively 
just bursting. Like, it's just like your, your happiness, you're becoming a happier person throughout all this. And I see there being a lot of fiery and it's like, like a firework type situation um, for your theme. So if this doesn't really all manifest right now, it may very well manifest by January or by spring in the time of Aries, because the full card represents the beginning of something, which is January, right? Our calendar, Janus. And it's also in the zodiac sense is, is, is the time of Aries. So, um, I believe that's March, um, end of March, beginning of April or April. Oh my gosh, I should know this. I'm tired. I've had a few glasses of wine. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed the spread that I've developed. Um, if you do, let me know in the comments. If you thought it was meh, let me know in the comments. And I will talk to you later. Bye.